Hi, in this video, we are going to discuss the file system storage of the Kali Linux operating system. So it's chapter 2, and let's get into it. <clears throat> First one is file system hierarchy standard, or FHS. Kali Linux is organized to be consistent with the file system hierarchy standard, or FHS, allowing users of other Linux distributions to easily find their way around Kali. The FHS defines the purpose of each directory. So, to sum it up, the FHS defines the directory structure and directory contents in Linux distribution. So, it's pretty much Linux standard for its um, directory structures. They, also, they always use FHS. It's the generic one. <clears throat> top level directories so here's the list of its directory and descriptions bin for basic programs boot Kali Linux kernel and other files required for its early boot process dev device files etc configuration files so all kinds of configuration files will be stored in this etc directory home users personal files live basic for basic libraries media mount points for removable devices such as cd rom usb keys and so on mnt for temporary mount point opt or option extra applications provided by third parties root um, administrators personal files so obviously the administration the administrator is the only one who can access this root directory. <clears throat> run volatile runtime data that does not persist across reboots. SBIM contains the system programs. SRV data used by servers hosted on this system. TMP for temporary files. This directory is often empty that boot. It's like the cache files. The cache in the term for Windows. USR user contains user applications. VAR variable data handled by daemons. These include log files, queues, spools, and cache. Um, the daemon is a kind type of process in the Linux operating system, but we will discuss that on later chapters. Proc and Sys, they are used by the kernel for exporting data to user space. Visuals, here's a visual representation on how the Kali Linux FHS looks like. So you can see, here's how it's um, built. So the slash over there, then all of the top level directories are first in line um, as I told you if you would look at etc all kinds of configuration files will be stored in there the default rc.d stand sysconfig x11 the home the users rick anna emmy bob then for mnt temporary mount point cd rom and floppy then the user applications are there too. There's the list of the user applications connecting to the bar of the connection of the USR. And the variable var directory contains that also a list of variable data. So next user's home directory. Users home directory is often referred to by a tilde. The command interpreters automatically replace a tilde with the correct directory, the one in the home environment variable whose usual value is home slash user. So it's a variable so of obviously you can change it to however, however you want but the constant value will be home slash user. Some programs also use multiple configuration files 
organized in one directory. For instance, the tilde slash dot ssh slash. These configuration files stored directly in your home directory often referred to as dot files. Graphical desktops usually have shortcuts to display the contents of the desktop directory. Like the windows, um, we can see our desktop path from just a single click. Kali Linux also has that shortcut too. So users will be, uh, won't be taking too long to find their desktop directory, which is the most important directory in every personal computers. The email system stores incoming emails into a mail directory. Conclusion The Linux file system is a logical system. All files and folders may appear on different directories or even different disks, but di eventually ev everything is stored in one place. The directories in the Kali Linux file system is pretty much the same for other Linux operating system. So of course they follow the generic generic standard on how the operating system of Linux are built. So they did the same for Kali Linux since it's part of the Linux industry. <clears throat> Lastly the Kali Linux uses FAT32 file system format. It does not use the NTFS. It will not work there. So this presentation ends. See you in the next video.